I created a 3D Yoda using Blender to see what I can do with modern technology. For context, this is what ILM did for Attack of the Clones. So, let the pain begin. We first need reference images. Oh how easy this is in comparison to the next step. After getting these images, I need to model the body of our character. This can be done in two different ways. So, I did the logical thing, which was to choose both. I used sculpting for the head and box modeling for the feet and hands. Once this was complete, the same had to be done for the clothing. I wanted the cloak to be able to have a cloth simulation added to it, so I looked around for how I should do this. Once I settled on how they did it for the games, I began texturing. Well, at least I did before I realized Yoda had a lightsaber. So like any gamer, I went on a side quest. Just this side quest was to model a replica lightsaber for the Yoda model. Don't worry, you will see it if I decide to remove its spot hidden behind the cloak. So back to the main quest. The skin texture was the most tedious texture I had to complete as you had to find that fleshy look by matching the type of skin brush you were using to the part of the body. This just became very complicated very quickly. Then I added some more shades of green just to give it a bit more organic look. I know before anyone says I'm covering this super quickly but I promise you it took hours and it's not as easy as this. After creating the textures I added them to the character and added some hair using the 3.3 beta. Rigged the character so I added a cloth sim and began posing. This simulation liked to break so I tried and failed at getting a good enough result so I settled on what I'm about to show you. I only rendered the character and added it to the old images so you can make the comparison between them. If I had more time I would have worked to get the cloth simulation working but with the time constraint I just had to get it done. So without delay, here is the result. Well, what do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Goodbye, and I'll see you next time.